Hello everyone, welcome back to Sketch Immersion Design Channel. Today we are going to dive into the world of creating stunning vector effects from our photos using Adobe Photoshop and by the end of this tutorial you will be able to transform your images into editable vectors effortlessly. But before we get started make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. We can start by generating our AI image that we are going to use throughout this video. I'm using a journey for this tutorial. Now let's go to Photoshop and create a new document. I recommend setting it to 2500 pixels by 2500 pixels for optimal results. Next, choose select and select and mask so that you can select the astronaut and hide the background. After that, you can create a duplicate layer just as a backup. I usually like to create a backup layer just in case. And convert your layer into a smart object. Before starting the vectorization process, we are going to add some effects to our image. So, press on filter, go to filter gallery, just make sure to have your colors set on black and white and from the filter gallery press on sketch and we are going to apply a couple of effects here the first thing the first effect is the reticulation effect which provides or creates this style to our image and you can play with the settings according to your image then press to add another effect and this time I'm going to add the film grain effect which creates this uh, pixelated image style and also and we can add another style I'm going to add a half tone pattern effect and now we can play with the set settings until you find something that you like Now we are going to duplicate our layer again just in case and convert our layer to a smart object. I'm going to group all the backup layers in a group and call it backup. We are not going to need it during our tutorial. The next uh, step is to add some adjustment layers to our image. So, the first layer is the levels layer, which will be used to add highlights and brighten our image. And then you can add a posterized layer, which is very important in the process of vectorizing our image. So. I'm going to choose four levels and after you finish just group all your layers with the adjustment layers and merge them using the merge layer button. Now our image layer is ready for the vectorization process. The whole concept is, is to use the blend if to vectorize our image. You can do that from the style layer. So if you play with the blend if uh, tab on the current layer, you can delete the whites and keep the blacks and this is exactly what we are going to do for the vectorization process. We are going to separate each color on a, diff on a separate layer and vectorize it so that we can either change its color or move it to Adobe Illustrator and play with it without problems. And this is what we are going to do with the Blender tool. We are going to separate each color 
into a separate layer. We are going to add an action which will separate each color to a separate layer and vectorize it for us. I'll leave the action in the description of the video. So after loading your action, just open your action step from the window panel and make sure to run the blend lift vector creator action while selecting the layer, the posterized layer, which is now merged with our layer. Press the run button and press continue. This will start separating the curves by opening the layer style and you have to manually choose each color and pick it using the pick color tool. So the first thing is to move the tab to the to the right to have to to have the color the white color separated and then press ok now we can pick the color and I have it in a separate layer and this will open the blend if <coughs> box again now we can move the mirror to the second color and again we are going to press ok just make sure to choose the correct color and press ok and this will separate the second color on, an, on a separate layer and so on and so forth the layer style will open again so you have to choose the, the third color and then the fourth color remember that I used four colors when, apl when applying the posterize layer the posterize adjustment layer so if you choose more than that you have to separate each color on a separate layer so after you finish just cancel and you will have all your colors separated in different layers you can see that each color now is separated in each and now only the each color layer is, is a vector layer Since it's a vector layer, you can play with the anchor points easily and move it and adjust it. The next step is to save all our file to open on Adobe Illustrator to do that just press on the save a copy and choose the Photoshop EPS option and then we are going to open the file on Adobe Illustrator and if you open the file in your Adobe Illustrator you can see that all the vector layers are visible the same layers like the ones that we had in Adobe Photoshop so you can delete the white layer from the background and start working on your design I'm going to add a black layer to act as my black t-shirt and the first thing I'm going to do is to add a stroke to the black layer of my astronaut I'm going to do that through the properties panel I'm going to increase the stroke size to 3 pixels and then let's start by creating um, this by adding a circle to the design and, and increasing its stroke size I'm going to add the letter S inside
let's create some streetwear shapes. And then I'm going to add some text. I used ChatGPT to generate some text for my design. And I've, I have downloaded some streetwear elements from Fepic. And I kept adding these shapes to the design. Then I decided to play with the font. I chose some another build font instead of the old one. And I kept adding some elements. And this time I added different type of font again I used chat GPT to generate some slogans for my space design I like the outer reality slogan again I kept adding some additional shapes And then I added some random text at the top part of the design and the upper part of the design. So now this is the final design. That's it for today's tutorial. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. And if you have any questions, please feel free to write down in the description of the video and leave your comments. Thanks for watching.